Hey, church family. I've been really noticing the last couple of weeks how amazing it is to connect with family and friends virtually like this. I feel like we're realizing how much we take for granted being able to be in community like we were before all of this started. But there is something to be said for us having to intentionally reach out and connect right now. It almost feels more meaningful. My writer brain really appreciated Pastor Mark's message on Sunday and the ways it tied in the Old Testament ideas into what we're dealing with right now, um, especially in isolation. Uh, and in Leviticus 16.2, God gave Moses specific guidelines, even for Aaron, the high priest, um, about what he had to follow in terms of being in the presence of God. Otherwise, he would die. There was a very physical division between God and the people, similar to the physical distance between us right now. I know I have felt the heaviness of being separated from friends and family these last couple weeks. And at times, I can slip into putting God in that category, too. It, as we approach Easter and all the time that, and all that this time represents, uh, I believe it would be helpful for us all if we can fix our minds on what Mark 15, 37 to 38 represents for us today. It says, with a loud cry, Jesus breathed his last. The curtain of the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. This verse reminds me of the promise of God in Joshua, which has always been a big verse in our house as my brother's name is Joshua. It says, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Even though this verse is something I've heard all my life, somehow it sounds different these days as so many people and people I care about are struggling with real fear and worry about just leaving their house. I like Pastor Mark's analogy of the spare tire, something that will get us by for a while, but not permanently. The tabernacle was the tire of the Old Testament, but what are the spare tires in our lives right now that we're relying on to keep us sane? We could probably all say we're relying on something temporary, while relying on God will never fail us. I'm so thankful that Pastor Andrew offered me the chance to connect with you guys and chat with you guys like this, and I hope that my thoughts somehow connected to you and helped you think a bit deeper, even a little, about what Mark talked about on Sunday. I look forward to the time when I, we can all be in the church building and connect again and especially give hugs again. But just for now, let's just be the church in the world around us course six feet apart though. Have a wonderful week everyone.